Weekly Renewal is brought to you by Calvo Select Care. Half a day. I'm Clara Calvo bringing you your weekly renewal. September is Suicide Prevention Awareness Month, and it is also National Yoga Month. And for years, I have found this to be an obvious parallel. Since suicide prevention awareness is linked to mental health awareness, and yoga has been touted for years as an antidote for depression, anxiety, and mental and emotional health issues in general. As a yoga instructor myself for the past 19 years, I have regarded yoga as a panacea for every physical, mental, emotional problem. Until a few years ago, and again this year, I was made aware of how erroneous that perspective was. A dear friend of mine who was an extraordinary counselor, life coach, and an amazing performing artist took her life just two years ago. Everyone was shocked because everyone knew her as their number one cheerleader, their biggest supporter, the last person they'd expect. And this year again, another close friend who's been a well-celebrated yogi has spoken openly about suicidal thoughts and overall mental health issues. There is no type when dealing with mental health issues or suicidal issues, the same way there is no type when dealing with cancer. These are diseases that show up differently. We all do the best we can with what we have and what we know. And the easier and more comfortable we make this conversation for others to feel safe, speaking about it and seeking help, the better. It's unfortunate that there's still a stigma regarding mental health. The idea of seeing a therapist or seeking mental emotional health support in any way still frightens people. What will they think? Will I lose my friends? Will my family be embarrassed? If mental health was legitimized and prioritized as physical health was, more people would reach out, speak out, and get the help they need. And although yoga has myriad benefits, and I've heard countless stories from members and friends and strangers over the years, the practice is not a cure-all. There is no magic pill for anything. And if someone tells you there is, be careful with whatever they're trying to sell you. Yoga for me has been one of many tools that I've used over the years. I also get counseling myself regularly. I take natural supplements, body work, energy work. Again, we do what we can with what we know. And although I am not a doctor nor a licensed therapist, I have facilitated fitness, yoga, meditation, detox, and wellness programs for almost two decades and have seen firsthand what a holistic health lifestyle can provide. When we approach wellness from a synergistic view, from the perspective of physical, mental, emotional, social, spiritual, and energetic interrelatedness, we can definitely see an optimistic trajectory. Although I personally have never been a fan of pharmaceuticals, I do understand that we are all different and we all have different needs. There is a need for some whose biochemical makeup is imbalanced. Our body chemistry and overall constitution is unique. What may work for one person may not work for another, which is why it is critical to be open to different tools and methods that are provided and available to us. There is a reason why insurance covers mental health as well. Yoga has been a huge part of my healing journey, but not just the physical aspect of yoga, not just the asana practice, but the meditation, the breath work, pranayama, as well as the sister science of Ayurveda, making dietary modifications, detoxification regularly, and energy work. In closing, remember that working in is just as important as working out. We place so much focus on our physical health, with proper nutrition and exercise, and sometimes we forget that going inward and giving ourselves that same care is just as important. So whatever that may be for you, something as simple as journaling, talking to a friend, or if you are seeking therapy, there are many counselors on island, as well as if you are also interested in yoga, we have yoga classes at Synergy Studios seven days a week, and there are other yoga instructors and studios around the island, and you could check out Guam Yoga Community on Instagram for that. Thank you, I will see you next time on your weekly renewal.
Weekly Renewal is brought to you by Calvo Select Care.